view of what the Office of Inspector General does. In Florida, it's very unique to most states, there actually is an Inspector General for every state agency, as well as your cabinet officers. And for the most part, there's really only been an Inspector General at a county level in the Miami-Dade area for about 10 years now. Uh, little by little, we're starting to see Inspector General show up in local communities, and the reason, of course, and, and your, your state attorney was a very large part of why I'm here today. But really, an Inspector General brings a kind of what they call a watchdog. I like to say we are, our mission is to enhance public trust in government, which is something that Palm Beach County, unfortunately, uh, <coughs> is lacking of and in need of. And so what our role is, is we have kind of a, a two-prong approach normally, but with the way the code was written, there's actually going to be a three-prong approach here in Palm, in Palm Beach County. One is audit. And in our audit world, we actually look for efficiencies in government. We, we look at programs, we see how they're running, we look for anomalies to see what's not adding up, we look for theft, you know, all those little backdoor ways of, of trying to look at how government runs is what we do from an audit perspective. And then we have an investigative hat. Technically, an, an IG's office is an administrative arm, which is why the state attorney is so critical to inspector general environment, because as we get complaints, some of them in the past turn criminal. And so it is a wonderful partnership here with the state attorney to ensure that no matter what we get, it is either worked administratively, it is handled in inside management correctly, or it is brought to the state attorney's office for criminal prosecution. And so we've seen a variety of those starting to happen already, and I'll, I'll, I'll give the one case. Um, typically, an inspector general sees things happen within county government, and it's rare that I actually have worked, and I've been an inspector general for over eight years at the Department of Children and Family, but it's rare to see where the citizens are involved in the case. And our very first case that we actually got an arrest on happened to be an employee that was taking bribes from citizens um, that were getting code enforcement violations. And so here we go, we've expanded into our community where actually our government employees were doing wrong things to you, the very people, the property owners of this county. So the jurisdiction is wide in the sense that it is county government, it's county employees right now and county funded programs, it's our contractors, which brings me to the third element, which is very interesting here for Palm Beach County, is the fact that the code actually provides where within 24 hours, the county is to provide notice to me of when there's going to be any type of selection committee regarding contracts in this county. And so I've been, as I can, we're, we're small shop, we're getting there. Um, I'm sitting in on these procurement processes, one, to see how they're doing it, two, to see if they're following the law, if they even know the law, and if they don't, we're, we're working on that. And a lot of what I'm seeing is really is culture. You know, they just don't quite understand um, all the time, not, not, all, not always, but sometimes. They don't understand that there's certain things you can and cannot do when you're in a decision-making process. So a lot of it is education but it is a great avenue for us to look at not only the front end and hopefully prevent any wrong going and anything going off what I call the train track, but the opposite is once a procurement happens, watching that process. You know, a lot of times we hear, oh, the change orders are happening. Suddenly, you know, we, we thought we were getting this for a million dollars and suddenly we pay two million dollars. Well, our job is to look at that and see what's actually happening. Are they appropriate? Are they not? Are they following procurement requirements? Is it just a low bid? Or should they have competitively bid it and, you know, procured it and gotten a lower dollar and perhaps a better product? Those are all things that the Inspector General's office will be looking at. And then we'll be doing outreach, a little bit like today. Uh, we'll be doing outreach to kind of educate everyone on what, what, our, role, what our role is and, and what you should report to our office. And uh, in fact, yesterday the county administrator has put forth a what they call a PPM, that is a policy, where their employees will be reporting to us many different things, fraud, theft, corruption, bribery, you know, con uh, contract improprieties, computer-related crimes, all now have to come through our office. So we're basically the eyes and ears for you all. Um, the most unique part about this ordinance is that the Inspector General actually reports to you all. I report to the people of Palm Beach County. I don't have a board, not the Board of County Commission, not the Board of Ethics, not anybody, but you the people. So you, you are who we are responsible for. You rely on our office to make sure that we make sure people do the right thing. And at the end of the day, we hope we bring good government.